Can you tell us about your character in the film and how you prepare for it? I play quite an annoying woman who uh, believes in homeschooling and um, uh, she's formed a sort of club for children that are different and special. Um, yeah. <laughs> And uh, Jess's character brings her daughter along to this club and the results are not great. So you're not new to the situation of a lead actress who's also the director of a film. So how do you think the perspective changes when you have a, a female leading the whole crew and, and the scene? I think definitely um, it shifts the kind of stories that people are telling. Um, I think it's really interesting to see the perspective of a mother. I think quite often, as an actress, I know that um, people don't tell stories about mothers. It's almost like the end of the narrative. Someone gets married, they get the boy or the girl, and they disappear. So it's really interesting to see a story told about what happens next. You know, maybe that person splits up from their partner, maybe they struggle, maybe they, you know, what happens next? Um, and I think that's what's really refreshing about this film, it's a story about a mother. And thinking about all the days you filmed this, this movie, uh, what are your best memories from the set? Well, I had one day, <laughs> one day filming, but it was beautiful weather. We were in Folkestone, we were next to the sea, it was absolutely gorgeous. I was like, maybe I should move here. So it was, yeah, it was a pretty nice experience, actually. <laughs> and finally, what's next for you? Um, what's next for me? I've just been in a film called Sometimes Always Never with Bill Nye, which was out at London Film Festival and soon to be out um, in UK cinemas. And I'm also in a film called Eternal Beauty with Sally Hawkins, which is uh, playing Peter. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, you too. Thank you.